New at six, a mystery unsolved on the lake shore near Highland Park. A 45 year old man died from what's being called suspicious injuries. We're learning the last two people to see him alive are behind bars, but not for murder. Here's CBS 2's Chris Ty asking the question tonight what's next? It's a very, very in depth investigation. When somebody dies of a homicide, uh, there's no stone that's left unturned. Investigators look at everything. From their homes on the aptly named Cliff Road, homeowners here get daily doses of Lake Michigan's majesty, but sometimes they pick up on the sounds of those walking below. Such was the case Saturday morning for 45-year-old Matthew Ascarides. He heard people being loud at the shoreline, left for the beach. That escalated to a violent altercation, and four hours later... A Passerby observed a body partially submerged in the water and dialed 911. The coroner says the death was from multiple injuries. We know it's a very rocky area where this encounter took place as well. Some very large rocks. Around that same time, these two men, 20-year-old Nicholas Caban and 18-year-old Jacob Firestone, both from Highland Park, called 911, telling authorities they needed medical attention and to share that they had that beachside involvement with Ascarides just hours before. Both were hospitalized. Authorities got a warrant for Caban's house. What they found was a firearm uh, that had a def defaced serial number. That led to felony weapons charges against him. Firestone was released from the hospital Tuesday and right into police custody. What investigators know is that uh, he did attempt to conceal uh, evidence of this incident. We know that a violent struggle took place between the 45 year old, the 20 year old and the 18 year old. Three men struggled, two walked away alive. What was the exact involvement of the final two men to see him alive? In a case whose crime scene is a beach where evidence churns with every wave, leaving no stone unturned may prove to be a very tough task. The victim in this case was a father, a husband, a local business owner. The suspects in this case, authorities tell me, still could be charged with additional crimes. If you or someone you know knows what happened along this stretch of shoreline early Saturday morning, you're asked to call the Lake County Major Crimes Task Force. Along the shore in Lake County, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.